Hi guys, today we're taking a look at the new Thomas Motorized Paxton. Now I've been looking forward to this engine ever since we saw pictures of it last year. And my mom was looking online and found it and I was just like amazed, I could not believe it. So uh, she ordered this for me, so thank you mom for that. Here's a look at the packaging and we're going to take a look at it at the, out of the box. Alright, and here he is. Look how cool this engine looks. Not only does he have the awesome striping going down, but he has a painted ladder, painted vents, and painted window inserts. He also has painted side rods on the side, which I think is really cool. Um, the printing is a little bit faded on the yellow, but I don't mind it, and it looks like the show. The face looks awesome, and there's painted buffers, which is great. The only thing that I don't like is the brown dirt on the side. Um, there's also the back of Paxton which is kind of plain, but that's to be expected. Here's the roof of Paxton, you'll see some more of that great printing, and the bottom. Moving on now, here's the slate truck, and it basically is just that, a slate truck. Now, the only good thing about this is the load that comes inside of it. Um, you'll see the top and the bottom of the car there. But they made this new piece that looks like actual slate, and I love this. It's very reminiscent of the old Tomy design, and I think it's very cool. I also like the little specks of blue in it. Alright, so all in all, this engine is an awesome engine. Not only is it detailed, but it looks like the show, and Paxton is just a lovable character, you know, like any way, shape, or form. Um, so I'm excited to get another version of Paxton. The only thing that disappointed me a little bit, if you look at the pictures um, surfacing online and in the listing of this engine, um, it has blue specs as well as some brown specs. However, seeing it in person, it doesn't seem to have any of those blue specs, which is what it was supposed to be because, you know, he works in the Blue Mountain Quarry and it was supposed to look like Blue Mountain Dust. But other than that, I really do like him. I just wish that they would have made this version plain and then maybe released a dirt or dust-covered Paxton later. Because now, if which I doubt Fisher Price is going to make another version of this engine, you know, we're going to be stuck with him having that dirt on him forever. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.